This Lion fan base have been craving home playoff football since this building opened in 2002, and they've got it today at Ford Field in Detroit. Tonight, we continue with Wild Card Weekend with what should be a great one between the San Francisco 49ers and the Detroit Lions. Bobby Cole to kick off for San Francisco. And off we go. We're underway in this NFC wild card game. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. for Bo Scarborough. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. This is our time! Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Now Scarborough. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now they'll run it with Scarborough. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. They run. This is Scarborough. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten. They'll try the air now with Goff. Flush to his right. He's airing it out for Williams. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jason Barrett. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. Oh, clean it up, baby. Nobody ever wants the interception on the opening drive to happen, but when it happens in the playoffs, it feels like it's a bigger deal. What a rough start. And how about these visitors? The defense just went right on the field and seized momentum. You know, almost like they're saying, okay. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Romeo Aquara in there to bury him for a loss of 11. And so much for that great field position to start the game. Now they're way behind the sticks. Can't wait to see what their second down call is going to look like now. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he takes this beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength trying to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Eluding the pressure right. And that will be incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Run. 
the Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen. Oh, well, this is taken in. It's complete. And some room to work. Touchdown, Detroit. T.J. Hawkinson, 79 yards. And the Lions are going to take a first quarter lead. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call. But he got it and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was, a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Niners take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They've been a come-from-behind team all year. They'll need to do it again as they trail early in this wild card game. They'll run for the first time with Raheem Mostert. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Brings up second and five at the 30-yard line. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. From the gun, a run with Mostert. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. He's tackled it Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Forced out to his left. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy. Make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. On first and ten, it's Mostert. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. to throw now on first down. That is caught inside the five. And across the chalk into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Brandon Ayuk, 28 yards. And the 49ers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Taken about seven yards deep. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. At their own 25-yard line. The 
Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. But the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out. They'll start things on first down with Bo Scarborough. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. This is Scarborough. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. On second and ten, gone. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. This well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Got to give this time to the tailback. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 to the 34. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. They go back to the ground, this time Swift. And he's going to have this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Niners' 28. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to him back. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Third and two, golf. Looking for Perriman, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jason Verrett. And that's now the second time he's picked off a pass here in the first half alone. Again, another great read defensively. And you just see him get in the right position to make the play and get his guys the football back. They'll start on the ground with Mostert. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. the play fake. He'll look to throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked by Tracy Walker. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. 
He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. But we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Second and 11 at the Niners' 30-yard line. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Goff now to throw. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. So the screen good for only two. Now it's third down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. Looking for the end zone. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in the end zone. Fourth down now as San Fran's defense was strong in coverage. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And the Lions are going to take a 3-0 lead. They got the interception, but very little movement after. And that forces him to settle for three. And it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due. And that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. This is what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you've got to go put out the fire. And they did, holding them to a field goal. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. On second down, Moster. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. Two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs. A reminder coming up at the half, as we've done all year. We'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. Coach will have the lowdown of what's going on here in this wild card weekend as we begin on the road to Super Bowl 53 in Atlanta. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. The last drive, remember, similar situation. He forced the ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown. Marquise Lee, 45 yards. And once again, the 49ers are back out in front. Well, I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You could never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. From the gun, here's Goff. Flushed out right. That's complete to DeAndre Swift out of the backfield. And he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Out of the gun, Goff. 
That's complete to Swift out of the backfield. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. They get a big amount back, 18 yards, but they'll still look at a fourth down now. Now the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They're going to go for it. It's gone. And this is incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. There goes a deep ball in zone. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in the end zone. He was trying to get it to George Kittle. It's tight end. And now it's second down. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Now San Francisco are going to call their second timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And he's got it. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. And it's complete. In the end zone, touchdown 49ers. Raheem Mostert there to make the grab. And the 49ers had six to their lead. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. He's airing it out for Williams. And guys, man, complete. First of their timeouts. As they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. First and 10 at the 45 yard line. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. A shotgun snap for gone. They'll find Swift out of the backfield. Well, he is out of bounds inside the 35. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. First and 10 at the 30. Off throwing again. Escaping the pressure right. And yet again, Goff is intercepted. Picked off on a safety, Jarquiski Tart. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. The 
The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. San Francisco. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This was the old NFL record distance for decades, a 63-yard attempt. Here now, Brett Maher. He hit from 62 in his rookie season of 2018. This to equal Matt Prater's record. It's a 64-yard attempt. So we come upon halftime here in this NFC wildcard matchup as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. And how about this right out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. One of these two teams about to play their final half of the season as we're back at it in this NFC wildcard battle. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing, Charles, but boy, to start the second yeah, half with the onside yeah, kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side, coupled with, you and I both know the special teams coordinators, they sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? And I'll guarantee he's been selling this one. We can get it, coach. We can get it. And that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about. It's interesting because when I'm watching college football and I'm evaluating guys for the draft now, my list of fullbacks, pure fullbacks, it's a very short list. I'm probably evaluating more punters and kickers now than I am fullbacks. But doesn't matter what you call the position, it's who you put there. Touchdown, 49ers! Raheem Mostert, his second touchdown of the night. And the 49ers add on to their lead. And that one heck of a run right there. Once he got loose, you could tell that he was going to run a long way. That was pretty impressive. Gold with the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. Taken about seven yards deep, and he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. 25-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And in enemy territory last time through the interception, we'll see what they do on this drive. Can't wait to see how it alters what they decide to do in play calling. Do they continue to throw the ball? Do they want to lean more on the running game? It'll be an interesting sequence of plays that they've got coming up. Does it often affect the play calling with the interception? How much does that change what you do? I think it does depending on why the interception was thrown. Sometimes it's just a matter of the defense made a great play, so you continue to come back. But if it's on you, if the offense just doesn't have the confidence, if you're a little bit shaky, maybe try and take the pressure off and run the ball a little bit. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11 at the 49-yard line. On second and 11 now. Golf. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. They'll give him a yard on the play, and that's going to make it third down and 10. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Got a man. It's complete. Williams. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. On 
on first and ten. Golf. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. Second and ten, golf again. And he comes back with one complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 15-yard line. His second catch of this wild card game, and it goes for a first down. From the red zone now, gone. This will be caught just inside the 10. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. Second and three from the nine. Now a handoff looking right. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Third and four. And now the 49ers signal for a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Now gone. His pass caught at the four. And the Lions are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. The gain of five that time gives them the conversion and makes it first and goal. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. A gain of three brings up second and... They'll run for it with Bo Scarborough. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's a nice example of good team defense right there. Ball was snapped at the one-yard line. They knocked him back and caused a loss. But you notice they were trying to find any type of a gap to run through. Wasn't one available. And they stuffed the play right there in the middle of the field. Got to figure this is one they need here on third and goal. To throw is gone. And this is going to be intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one, or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? On the ground, it's Mostert to start the drive. Gets this to the 24 for a gain of four. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. They'll buy some time right. And they work this well up field across the 45. The a pickup of 24. And that's where the play began, the 24 yard line. And they run the option here on first and 10. And he'll be pulled down, and now a late flag will come with it. And that's in the area of a face mask, I think. One quarter remains in this NFC wild card matchup. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. 
Looking for Ayuk, and he's got him. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 12 more yards there and another first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. to throw now on first down. Flush to his right. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. Brandon Ayub, the one he was looking for. But it'll be second and goal. They are certainly not letting up on the pressure in this one. And oftentimes you hear this expression, all gas, no break from defenses. But in this case, is the offense still throwing the football up big in the fourth quarter. Being chased out left. And now he's going to use his legs. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. Well, he strung it out as far as he could, and I like the fact that he kept his eyes downfield, but he finally ran out of time and room. But I'll take that over forcing it downfield and possibly having it intercepted. They'll look to throw on third and goal, eluding the pressure right. That's complete right around the eight. A great job to hold him to just a yard there. Now it's fourth and goal. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They are most likely staring at a cold end of their season here in this wild card round. Nothing has gone right so far, and they are, to be frank, in desperation mode now as they begin with a first and 10. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass is almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. And I think the receivers now, when they're running their routes, they want to catch the ball, but they also want to make sure that the defenders don't take it away. He's going to fire deep for Radley. And now here is another interception. Picked off by the former first-rounder, Jimmy Ward. I'm starting to wonder, Charles, if five interceptions, is that the last that we've seen of him? Well, I think that a lot of people hope that's the last they've seen of him in this game, probably including himself. If this were baseball, the manager would have been at the mound already and asked for the ball, and he'd be in there getting a shower. But in football, you might have to go stand on the sideline and watch the rest of it and see if your backup can do any better. They'll contain him to just four, second down. At the 29-yard line. They run out of the shotgun with Mostert. Mostert hit, and he drops the ball. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And a, into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 37, and he will return this one to the 30-yard line. They brought the house that time on the young rookie, maybe a little rattled through the pick. And you have to be prepared for a lot of pressure as a rookie quarterback because most defensive coordinators are going to test you that way. So when you see that, the ball's got to get out of your hands quickly, and that means your receivers have to understand they have to break up their routes quickly as well. This is caught. 
And out of bounds all the way down at the three. A good pick up there, 26 yards. At the three yard line. They'll come out in the pistol. Gone. Dancing to his left. This is caught. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. They'll try to run this one in. And this is not going to do it as he stopped at the two-yard line. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. Now Goff on third and goal. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. And he's got his man. It's caught for the Lion touchdown. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Lions use the short field of their advantage as they cash in for six. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. This one fielded at the five. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they are looking good. A two-score lead here in this fourth quarter as they hope to capture a spot in the divisional round next weekend. A lane there to run as Mostert able to get about seven there on first down. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. He'll look to throw. That's into the hands of Dwelly. And his defense here going to burn their second timeout. But you can also factor in another timeout that they'll get when the clock stops at the two-minute warning. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. And now here comes the third of their timeouts defensively. So they'll be left with only the two-minute warning to stop it from here on out. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. On play action, they'll throw. That's complete to Mostert out of the backfield. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. Brandon, you know this is going to be discussed because this is the fear of all the backs when they run this type of a route. They've got to find the football, and sometimes they don't see the defender. And in this case, he took a pretty good shot for his efforts, but give him credit, able to hold on to the football. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Rolling to his right. Got his target, Samuel. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 19 yards that time for number 19. 
Back to throw now on first down. They'll roll him out right. Got a man. It's caught at the six-yard line. And that goes for a gain of 31. No let up in this passing game. They've been a well-oiled machine throughout. And actually saw a few guys on the sidelines at the end of the third quarter doing the old hold up four fingers college sign, meaning the fourth quarter is ours. And they certainly weren't kidding. His pass caught at the four. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Offensively. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Raheem Mostert saving his best for the playoffs with his third.